In this week's episode of my Everyday Wife Life Vlogtober. Oh, Where's he at? That was a bird. Oh my god. Calvin. <laughs> Good morning guys, hubby and I are going for a bike ride. What time is it babe? 7.30. Okay, we're headed out for a bike ride. I'm tired. I'm trying to get in the last of my steps to get to 6,000. Bob goes out here and does that occasionally. And Calvin follows him. It's so cute. That's what you saw. Let's see. The edge of my yard here. That's the neighbor's. That's the neighbor's yard. Woods over there. This is Bella's cow pasture. I have not seen Bella lately. Hmm. Where's Bella? Hmm. Anyway, let's see. This tree still surviving. This one. That one. Is it still surviving? We've had. Yep. That's an oak tree. That's some kind of pine or Norfolk pine. I don't know. That's oak. This is dead. And then this is maple. We need to fix these up a little better. It is getting chewed on by the deer though, but we need to fix these. All right, let me go finish my walk. Get a view of what my yard looks like from way back here. A lot of work to be done. All this, these are pepper trees. They're invasive. Uh, and these all be cut. Ugh. Also know that I am aware of a little sound problem in my videos. I am working on it. I don't know what's wrong. Um, I am getting a mic. I bought one and it doesn't work very well. So I need to return that and get another one. And um, also bought a ring light so I can have better lighting. And I'm getting a new iPhone. Hubby bought me one for my birthday, but it's not coming for two weeks. That might fix the sound problem. But in the meantime, bear with me. I'm sorry. I don't know what was been going on the last month or so. I've been getting like a lot of comments about well, not a lot. Like one every other video lately. So, and I haven't had that kind of comment in a while. So, until the last time I had changed my phone out. Or I think I when I was using my camera. That's what it was. And um, that was years ago. And then I got a, a new iPhone and that fixed the problem. Fixed the problem. So, all right. Somebody's putting out there. Halloween decorations.
Okay, it is Monday. It's 6.30 and I just got my Aldi haul um, from Instacart. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So uh, ignore the stuff back here. That's not from Aldi. That was from Target the other day and Publix and yeah. So that's not part of this. So I got a big, huge, I feel like it was, well, the money was big, huge. But after I put it on the counter, it doesn't really look like that much stuff. So I got some grapes. I guess that's all I got. I didn't pay attention to the poundage on but that's fine. Sometimes, because I got a bunch of other fruit, and sometimes I buy too much fruit and only waste it. So I got some gluten-free, um, everything with the bagel. And this is for hubby, is uh, similar to Dave's Killer Bread. It is... Uh, Organic Simply Nature Green Tastic Bread. I got some of the Simply Nature Whole Plain Yogurt. I've never bought this before, so um, I usually like the, what is it, Fage? Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And then I bought some organic cheese. I'm trying to buy organic for myself. So I bought some organic string cheese. And then this will all go in the freezer, or well, most of it. I bought four things, again, stock up, four things of pepper jack and four things of cheddar, three things of butter. That'll last a really long time. Some vinegar. Let's see, some corn, some lentil. Why didn't I get more lentil soup? I thought, hubby likes lentil soup. I thought he might want to try that. Some green beans. So another thing of corn. Uh, and a thing of black beans. Only one thing of green beans. I thought I ordered two. And then I never buy um, canned mushrooms, but I thought I'd try it in case there was a time that I can't get mushrooms or something. So, and I needed some garlic and herb seasoning. So I got some of that. And I thought I would try this quinoa and brown rice. It's cheaper than what I usually buy. What is it called? Uh, I don't remember the name of that. Y'all see me buy it, I don't remember. So, and then I got some um, organic sweet potatoes. That's why it cost me so much, because I bought a lot of organic stuff. And some organic butternut squash. Um, and then I bought some, uh, two dozen of the organic cage-free eggs. And I needed some avocado oil, so I bought that. I needed some olive oil, so I bought that. And I bought some beef broth, because I have chicken broth, and vegetable broth but no beef broth and I'm thinking we're going to be making soup soon hopefully and I bought this butternut squash soup yes I can make my own but this is so much easier <laughs> I bought some blueberries and strawberries to have with the yogurt broccoli peppers carrots I've been doing a lot of the grazing board with the carrots and the dip and I plan on making sm green smoothies so I bought some spinach I bought some lemons, I bought some nuts, almonds, pecans, and pistachio kernels, and then, well, a lot of the cost was probably because I bought a lot of meat, so, um, because the freezer is pretty empty on the meat, so, yeah, I need to straighten that up just real quick, there's not much, and then I cleaned the refrigerator today, look how empty it is. So yeah, we've been de we've been dealing with very little um, food lately because I've been going every couple days getting yeah. Anyway, so I got um, a pork tenderloin. I got a thing of bacon which will go in the freezer because I just bought some and I forgot this, so I had all the cart ready to go. Just didn't push by for like a week or so, and I forgot I had this, but I can put that in the freezer. And then I bought the organic chicken breast and um, the chicken tenderloins. And then I bought four things of the grass-fed ribeye steak. These are really good and really, really good price. I mean, I probably paid a little bit more than that. I'm not putting prices on the screen this time, y'all. Um, so for two, 11.49 for two. Yeah, you pay way more than that at the, at the regular store. And then I bought some of these stuffed mushrooms. Probably tonight for dinner, we might have steak. That would be the easiest thing to cook. Some mushrooms. I bought two things of um, grass-fed beef. And I bought a bunch of these. Never any 
um, chicken sausage, no nitrates, no added. Um, this one is apple chicken sausage, and this is tomato basil. It's good for like a stir fry. And then this is spinach and feta. And I did have them substitute this, and I didn't realize it was breakfast sausage, but and it looks kind of weird, but we'll try it. All right, and then over here, I bought some coleslaw to make with ribs, which I didn't get any ribs. <laughs> I always forget to buy coleslaw so I can make ribs. I'll have to go to Publix and get some because hubby requested that. Although I could have it with the pork tenderloin. I don't know. So they didn't have any ribs at Aldi. I got some avocados. These are rock hard, which is fine because I have a couple left in the refrigerator that need to be eaten up. I probably make guacamole. Uh, three things of pepper. How did. Oh, I thought I bought one. Anyway. And I bought some kale. I'm probably going to freeze some of this um, so it doesn't go bad. Yeah. I'll freeze that. That is for green smoothies. Two, cumber, two cucumbers for green smoothies. Two. Some lemons, some onions, some potatoes, and some celery. I'm going to try the celery in the green smoothie. I don't know how well that will go in the um, the Nutribullet because that's what I use. So that is like a huge stock up. I still need to do more like some more canned stuff and whatnot. So um, yeah, so that's it for today uh, and the vlog, the week, the week in the life vlog. So. Uh, I did not walk today, y'all, so I don't know. I might go for a bike ride real quick. Probably not. I'm upset a little bit about that because I want to do 6,000 steps every day this month, but <laughs> things happen. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Don't you beat yourself up about it. I've said that, so why would I do that? Um, it is what it is. I will do more 6,000 steps than I have ever done in any month, so... I will guarantee you that. So th there's that. Hi guys, how you doing? So, I'm gonna leave you up there for a second because it's really hot, the phone will get overheated. So, I'm on my way to run errands. It's Anti-Procrastination Wednesday. And I got Katie's package already. Katie, it's coming to you. I actually did it in a timely manner because it's Anti-Procrastination Wednesday. So, um, maybe I'll show you my list, but I'm also showing it in another video. So, I guess what I'll say real quick is that I've progressed. <laughs> I got paint on my car. What? Anyway, so um, I've progressed. So on my list, I not only have anti procrastination things, stuff I've been procrastinating for a week, two weeks, a month, a year. <laughs> yes, that happens. So uh, I'm also putting things on there so I don't procrastinate them. Like, take this to Katie. Um, she just gave me her address yesterday. Um, and I'm sending it out today. Kudos to me. So, um, and then I've got the water jugs in the back. Um, we only have one in the water jug left of water. So I had bought an extra water jug, the three gallon water jugs to re go refill with reverse osmosis water at the Waterman. Anyway, um, I bought an extra one. So we have five. So now one, I'm down to the last jug. Then I'm going to go get water so we won't be left with no water so I'm going to do that and oh the other thing is um the laundry room Monica closet so um but you will see you have already saw, seen this hopefully and if not go watch that video so um didn't complete it 
but uh, actually I haven't finished the video for Thursdays video you're gonna see this on Saturday um when I come back I will do it so one able to finish it my sister's coming back on Friday and then that will be in another video maybe next week I was gonna do the garage today but it's too hot so I didn't film I don't know if I filmed my walk so I did go for a walk this morning but again I woke up early this morning and then I end up falling back asleep I went out on the couch and used my massager and then hubby said come in here and hang out with me and I laid down with him um, while he was working and I fell asleep and then so I had a late walk and then it it was hot so by the time I came back it was too hot to do the garage it is hot today I don't know what's going on there I need to stop talking because that's it for that I'm going to show today I'm also going to go to Publix real quick after that to get a few items even after my big grocery haul because I need all my milk and ice and yeah, I don't have those kind of things delivered. Aldi doesn't have the almond milk I like. And whenever I have ice or ice cream, actually that's what I'm getting too. Hubby re uh, requested some ice cream bars. Um, uh, whenever I get those delivered, they, they're melted. So I can't get those. They too, too, take too long to get to my house. Well, Aldi's further away. Publix is just down the street. So anyway, I'll be quiet. That's probably it for today. And I'll, I'll see you again tomorrow in this vlog. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, one more thing. My glasses are fogged up. Anyway, so um, I mentioned this in another video. So what I started doing is um, sometimes I don't show my face on camera because... I look like a hot mess so I and I don't didn't feel like doing full-on makeup um not that I really do full-on makeup but um you know so mascara the whole nine yards so what I started doing is just doing the lotion and then the pressed powder and I think I look better today my face I'm happy with how I'm looking on camera it's not full-on makeup I didn't pat mascara on for one I tend to sweat under my eyes weird yes weird so I don't know. So then my mascara runs and I need to get some um, waterproof mascara. I used to use that. I don't know why I got away from that. Maybe because I didn't like that. So I need that. But plus it takes longer for me to put my makeup on. And I, oops, you're falling. So anyway, that's just real easy peasy. Maybe that's something you might want to do and feel better about yourself. And I do, I feel better. My face tends to be really blotchy lately especially right after the shower and then I don't know I don't like the way it looks on camera so just lotion facial lotion and um some pressed powder puff 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 done not even five minutes two minutes to do that I brush my hair put the lotion on put the pressed powder on my face actually what I was what I've been doing is um taking the hair dryer pull hair, my hair dry a little bit and then dry my face so the lotion dries quicker so I can quickly put on the press powder. That is more than you wanted to know and I gotta go. Good morning guys. It is Thursday and it's like what? 9.30 and I'm just now getting to go for my bark ride because I don't know. Don't even ask. <laughs> I was up early. I was asleep on the couch last night. I didn't need my video. Went back in the bed for a little while and then realized my phone was dead and I can't count my steps unless I charge it so I had to charge that anyway yeah so and uh, putting the finishing touches on the description and stuff in my video for today so going for a bike ride don't know what else I'm doing today yet well one thing I'll be getting plenty of sunshine today that's for sure right, guys just to show you so because some people might say wow that's a lot of miles you ride so maybe it's because you're new to my channel but this is an e-bike so it has a battery but you still have to pedal it just assists you make you go faster um it, not as hard to pedal so right now i have it set on zero which means there's no assist and i'm going eight miles an hour and it is really hard although i should do that once in a while just to get my heart rate up maybe i will and, but it's too much fun when I put it faster. So what I usually have it on is uh, two or three. So this is what it probably would be like to ride a regular bike. Um, 
and I usually can only go four miles on a regular bike and then I'm exhausted. So, cause I'm a big girl and it takes more energy to, uh, and effort to pedal for the poundage. Anyway, so I got on one, much easier. I don't know if you can hear me, it's windy. Now I got it on two and I'm going 11 miles an hour much more fun and yeah and then and I'm gonna bump it up to three so much more fun and it is what is that 13 miles an hour yeah but I'm still pedaling look at how fast I'm going pedaling this makes you pedal faster when you bump up the speed and makes you go further faster all right, so anyway, so it's different than, I don't know what you call those other bikes, where you pedal it and then to charge up the battery and then you just ride it and stop pedaling. Yeah, this is not that bike. <laughs> this bike is for exercise. It's just definitely because there's not many hills, but there is this one hill hubby and I go up um, when we do our Sunday bike ride and there's no way I could get up that hill if I didn't have this bike. I'd be walking it up that's for sure so it is an expense it's like a two thousand dollar bike but uh, it's cheaper than a motorcycle and you get exercise so there you go okay guys this is like i don't know 3 15 or something i'm just now eating lunch so i'm having some stuffed cabbage that i bought um at Publix yesterday and bought a uh, box of chicken so I didn't have to make dinner anyway plus I had some onions and green pepper mushrooms and some bacon left over because I had pizza gluten-free pizza the other night so I'm gonna have that and watch some YouTube anyway kind of having a tired day I think I think I just need to I don't know. <laughs> Give myself a break. Um, my house is a disaster. Plus, w from working on the Monica closet laundry room, it got messy and pooped me out. And biking every other day this week and walking every other day this week. Plus, walking a little bit. Doing whatever. Doing the 6,000 steps. <clears throat> I, I need some time to adjust. I don't know. What else is going to happen this month? What? It's gonna get done. I'm thinking nothing. Because I'm supposed to start on the yard work. Not happening. I, yeah. I yeah, I feel like I'm starting from square one again. I was doing so good in April. Until I fell off my bike. Anyway, so I'm gonna sit here and eat. Drink some more water. I was laying in the bed and I was hanging out with hubby while he was working on his laptop and I was going to take a nap and I never, I never end up falling asleep because I fell asleep on the couch last night. I think I mentioned that earlier. So I'm just feeling tired. But whatever. It is what it is. So um, I don't know what else I'm going to get done today. I need to do something. I'm going to try to get ahead on my videos too. Like, I was scrambling to get my video ready for Monday. I kind of want to film that tomorrow. I'll just show you my disaster house, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I'm trying to get ahead on videos. And it's not working out. Because <laughs> I'm scrambling. Like, I do, I do, um, at, uh, film my videos on Wednesday for the Thursday decluttering video plus and procrastination Wednesday. But what I'd like to do is film it the previous Wednesday to have it ready for. It hasn't happened yet. I'm still working on it. So do you guys like knowing that I'm doing a decluttering video every Thursday and a cleaning video every Monday? Do you like that? Let me know in the comments below. So, and um, obviously this, you're gonna be watching this on Saturday. And this is a day in the life next or week in the life vlog. So net, but next week I haven't decided I'm waiting for my, um, October box 
of the Simply Earth, I might end up doing that instead of a Vlogtober. I don't know. Or an additional Sunday video. I'm thinking that's too much. I don't know. I'm gonna eat and see what else I can do today. I might I might feel better and it was supposed to rain and then it didn't. I don't even know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> we desperately need some rain. It's gross outside. It's zest, nasty and hot and anyway, I'm gonna eat and see what else. I can get done today. But I forgot to say, a side note, I lost three pounds. Yay! <laughs> Green smoothie, I'm telling you, that's what that was. Inflammation. I've talked about this before. I had, before I knew had an inflammation problem, I swelled up really bad when I was going on a trip with my sister and my two nieces. Totally swollen, feet, fat. Oh my God, it was horrible. And I went to the doctor, and he gave me a diuretic, and I lost 12 pounds in two days. That's how much water I was retaining. Yes. So, I don't take those anymore. I take turmeric and eat an anti-inflammatory um, diet the best I can. And I am, have not had a peace swelling pump in forever. I did a little while back ago when my knee was hurting. Was that earlier this year? But that was like temporary. So there's that. I don't. Anyway, I lost three pounds. So there's that. Hey guys, it's like 5 30 and I realized I didn't vlog today. So. Uh, Calvin's gonna go for a walk with me and I didn't go for a walk or bike ride so I'm going now so um yeah it just rained hopefully I don't get rained on and um, Calvin are you coming or do you want to go back inside all right okay so this morning I got up really early and cleaned the house which you'll see in another video although I thought it was filming and I wasn't for part of it so that's going to be in Monday's um, clean with me. So, and then my sister messaged me and um, um, I got, I was, let me backtrack. I was cleaning because my house is in a mess because I've been trying to work on the Monica closet and yeah. Anyway, so, um, so my sister texted me and said, did you want me to finish the Monica closet? Um, she already did all the laundry room, and um, if you didn't see that video, go check it out. And um, so, I said, yeah. So, I had to go get her because her husband was working. They only have one car. So, I went to go get her, and we hung out first for a while because she was waiting for her sister-in-law to come over, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so, anyway, I did a little bit of laundry little bit of this and that and put and hung some stuff up and back in the laundry room while she painted the Monica closet anyway so that's why I didn't vlog and I didn't go for a walk I was thinking about taking a break today I'm like no just go walk so I'm walking I still have almost 4,000 steps to do <laughs> so here I go so how's your day going Calvin you're my faithful friend but you're waiting for me. Aw. I got two more thousand steps to do. I'm gonna go in and take a break. Come back out here a little while. Finish my steps. Got a package, another package. I managed to get in my last 2,000 steps after it stopped raining and this is how I did for the first week of October. Not bad. Good morning guys. It is 7.15. I don't know. 
So I've been up for a while and using my massager. I think I'm just going to have a chill day and end this vlog too. I, I don't think I'm going to walk or bike today. I'm so exhausted. It's really kicking my butt. <laughs> I'm trying though. Even though I want to do the 6,000 steps a day, I'm going to have to take a break. So I already got my water here and my camera light is on. That's why it's looking like this because it's dark. And um, I'm going to finish, I'm going to finish the laundry room and the Monica closet today. And I got some chores to do. That will be in Monday's video, cleaning video. And then the Monaco closet and laundry room will be on Thursday's video. So I want to do those things. And I can't think about biking or walking today. So anyway, it was a busy week and I'm exhausted. So I'm going to have a chill day. Well, that doesn't really sound very chill, does it? But chill by mean I'm not walking or biking today. So, and maybe hubby and I will go for a bike ride tomorrow, which we usually do on Sunday anyway. So, we shall see. Alright, busy week. Productive, sort of, kind of week. I don't know. Anyway, until next time, enjoy your day. If you like this video, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up and make sure you comment below. It really helps out my channel. If you're new to my channel, click my face right there and subscribe. And stay tuned to next week for another episode of Vlogtober.